Hi, I'm Larry. Wait a minute, you've seen this before. It's just like Michael Reeves, who built a robot that shines laser in your eye too. You're absolutely correct. I stole his idea, and please don't sue me. You see, I recently rewatched the Michael Reeves video, and somehow thought that it'd be a good idea to replicate his robot, you know, like a normal person. But something caught my eye. In his video description, he put his source code, and so I thought, hey, I could just take this, and then bam, five million subs. At first glance, it just looked like a C-sharp.net um, application, which I didn't really know. So Michael's system consists, the hardware is pretty similar, I mean, you've got your computer, um, so Michael runs a Windows computer, and then he has that connected to a webcam, and then the computer uh, sends a serial connection to uh, an Arduino. Uh, which then controls his servo laser laser combination. Um, so I to start off, I don't have Windows a Windows computer. I have a Mac, um, and he used a WinForms application along with um, MGoose. Uh, which is a, a open C CV wrapper. So I had to replace those with a Python, like a TK, Tkinter window thing for like the camera view. And then I replaced the MGU CV with just uh, open CV itself. Um, then the serial connection, I didn't have a serial cable and I wasn't planning on buying it, so I replaced that with a like a server system. Um that just my my computer acts as the server and then instead of an Arduino I have a Raspberry Pi. Um and then they communicate that way. And then the Raspberry Pi just sends the this pretty much the same instructions to the servo and laser, which goes to someone's face. All right, so this is my beautiful setup. Um, as you can see with this, uh, this, this, I think there's still cookies in there. When I'm done with this project, I, I, got, I, I got to remember to take those out. Okay, um, my computer is connected to a webcam through a USB cable, um, and it takes that and it, pr it uh, uses facial recognition model to generate coordinates and it sends those coordinates uh, through a server. My, my computer set up as a server through this long, long Ethernet cable to my Raspberry Pi. And that uses a, um, a servo hat to, uh, to, to drive the motors. And that servo hat has its own power supply and the laser actually is connected to the Raspberry Pi's 5 volt power supply, which you should not do. I was just too lazy to do anything else. And then also that thing broke, so I just connected the ground to the USB case. I don't do that. All right, so here's the moment y'all been waiting for. Um, I get to subject myself to bright lights in my eyes and you all are happy. Um, here's the protective equipment. Always remember, your eyes are the most imp- F*** that. Alright, I found these laser goggles in the garage. I don't know why we have them. Um, there we go. It's on. It tracks my face. If I go over here, in my eyes. If I go over here, still in my eyes. Uh, you can see what the computer's seeing, uh, probably over there. I don't really know how to edit, but it'll be there somehow. Um, yeah, this is annoying. Very annoying. Even with the goggles, these, uh, these, 
these lasers are really bright. I don't know, they were cheap and from Amazon. Oh, okay, that's it. If you like this, consider liking or subscribing. Um, I'll leave the parts that I could find online down below, and also I think there should be a GitHub repository with all the code that I use. Uh, yeah. Peace.